that was a tough fight, you know, whenever you come in there's a lot of tension at the weigh-ins as you saw. Um, we came in here and, you know, there was a lot happening and he was coming out aggressive, he was strong as a bull. And, um, but my game plan was to try and, you know, keep him guessing with the, with the front kicks, go low, go high, and they landed a couple of times, but I never followed up on that, you know, because he, he was uh, coming in for the single leg every time. So I didn't really want to be hanging on my back, but, you know, for a lad who hasn't fought in two and a half years, um, you know, that was a pretty good comeback. So, you know, I'm happy I got the win because, you know what happens if you lose three in a row in the UFC, you could be, you could be getting a nip, so I lived to see an all other day. So there was a lot at stake, you know, um, I got a little kid on the way in January and, you know, if you lose another fight in the UFC, you could get cut and that would be, you know, a big, a big hit. So, um, I, get my, I get my show bonus, I get my win bonus. And um, you know this was a huge win for me to get myself back into the, you know, into contention, you know, for uh, to get myself up into that top tier. So I'm happy enough to get the win, but I would love to have got the finish though. I watched his previous fights and he's very intense like that. So I was expecting that. I knew he wasn't really great at the boxing, but he was tough. He could take a dig, and he could, he's very, very grind a, grind a grinder like, like my last couple of fights, big strong grinders, and I'm a grinder myself, but. Um, you know, I, I, I think it was the layoff that worked in my favour, you know, probably if he was still been fighting for them two years, it could have been a hell of a lot closer than it was, but I felt like my striking was a little bit more, but I felt like I was getting heavy at the in the third round, I know I was getting heavy, so I think I was trying to think of going for the finish too much, but I'll take that win, no problem. Great to actually f feel the home crowd for a wee while in my last fight, you know, you're in deep territory in Brazil, it's, um, it's a very uh, hostile place to go, so... I'm sure he was feeling that as well, you know, but it got him hyped up to be honest, but to come here and fight in front of all your home people and you've seen the support there, I'm from the north of Ireland, so you hear the support there that I get from the whole way uh, in the south here, so they uh, they are pound for pound the greatest atmosphere I've ever fought in front of and I'm sure it's probably not the last time I'll ever fight there, so um, great atmosphere, definitely one of the best experiences of my whole uh, career fighting wise. I really wanted to get a good finish there and then I could have... Uh, I could have called someone out, but I don't think I'm in really any position to call anybody out. But there is one lad who says I'm a bum, you know. I'm, you know, I'm a nobody. He had the opportunity to fight me, but I feel like this fight here had a mo lot more hype to it. So, and that lad goes by the name of Dustin Poirier. You know, I he came up to me and said after the whole thing with him not accepting the fight, he shook hands, says no hard feelings, and I says, you know, if uh, you were offered that opportunity, you, you would jump at it. And he says, yeah, I know where you're coming from. You never smack talked. So, uh, cheers, bro. And then. Two minutes later, he goes and does an interview and says I'm a, I'm a bum. You know, he says I'm basically a nobody. So I don't know how he's gone anyway. Nobody. He's got two wins in lightweight division. I got what five wins and two split decision losses. One you could argue that could have went my way. So and then including the two fights in the Ultimate Fighter. So he can say all he wants, and I would take that fight no problem. To get a quick turnaround, I would definitely. You know, Joe Silva just rings me. And I say no problem. You know, you never hear me dodging fights or saying Nah, I'll pass that one. If I'm fit and I'm ready to go, if I'm in any shape, way, form or fashion, I'll come in and fight, no problem, 100%.